So I'm in the Bacchus Conservation Area today. And I'm just wandering around. It's a very quiet day. Not a soul here by the looks of it. At least nobody's parked where I was. So this is the Backhouse Mill circa 1798. So it's one of the oldest, if not the oldest, still remaining mill in Ontario. So usually these buildings succumb to fire over the course of the years. And uh, fortunately this one has not. So this is quite cool. I'm sure it's been restored a little bit, but, uh, <laughs> cool. So we've got flour and lumber. But this was the uh, Christmas. So yeah, so very rare. But, uh, was built in John Backhouse in the 1790s. So I think this building dates to 1798. So it's one of those buildings that was not lost during the War of 1812. A lot of the time when the American forces were retreating in the War of 1812, the, uh, they would just basically just burn any mills and things like that, burn them down. So this is actually a rare gem. Okay, so this is um, this is the water course that goes into the mill. So that's quite cool. It's really amazing that it's survived to this state. I'm sure it's been uh, repaired a million times, but uh, still quite, quite rare in the scheme of things for these kinds of places. So it looks like they, they must have dammed this up at some time. As you can see like a earth berm that goes across here. Presumably they, they dammed up this creek and uh, created a mill pond. It looks like they had one heck of a windstorm here. There are a lot of, a lot of trees down, especially up at the uh, the cemetery that I looked at previously. So this looks like a water wheel or a turbine of some sort. It's quite cool. Yeah. Yeah, you can see the flutes on it for capturing the water. That's a piece of technology. Wow. It's very small though. I would have expected it to be bigger. Hmm. And then here is obviously a grist millstone. got the, uh, the grooves in it that uh, would capture the, the grain and then start to grind, start to grind it up. But that's really an awesome building. Seventeen ninety eight.
how many repairs have been done over the years, huh? It's just crazy. So it looks like they've got some lightning rods up the top. So there's a there's an intact mill at Balls Falls. There's the Morning Star Mill in St. Catharines. But I think this is probably the oldest, this one. And the most intact. So amazingly so. Quite cool. Quite cool. I'd love to get inside and see. The machinery inside, but uh, we're completely out of season here now. It's been closed. And the second wave of the COVID-19 pandemic is still raging, so I don't think it'll be open anytime soon. <laughs>